part review on a PSA dagger. It is the ADE red dot, which is one of the budget oriented red dots from Amazon. There'll be a link in the description where you'll be able to get that. That will be my affiliate link. That's how you guys can help support the channel. Uh, besides my Patreon, I just made it. Haven't officially put it out yet, but by the time this video launches, I should have it up and ready and running. There's a lot to be said about the red dot itself. It feels like it's made of some good material. I have all the specs right here where you'll be able to see it because I don't know them offhand. Didn't look at it. I just wanted to review the product as is. So right off the bat, the first thing I noticed, it does feel pretty decent as far as the material made out of it. I don't know if it's aluminum or whatever, but it's kind of light. And the main thing for me that I didn't like that the 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 elevation and the uh, turrets, they're declicked. So that kind of worries me if you drop it, will it knock the zero off? So we're gonna find that out. I've never torture tested anything on this channel, but this will be one of them just solely because it is a budget option. Most of the time when someone gets a budget option like this, they're new to firearms and they wanna see what is gonna work for them. So we're gonna get into that. We're gonna drop this thing first. First, we're gonna do a preliminary accuracy on it. See how it looks and see what the grouping looks like already. So let's go ahead and get that now. We're gonna load a mate ready and we're gonna see what the accuracy looks like. Then we're gonna drop it. We're gonna see if it shifts. Looks like the, the zero's already shifted from regular use. Or that could be my trigger pull. Well, that's my trigger pull. All right. So that's four rounds. Now we're gonna drop it. And we're gonna drop it from shoulder height. This is regular, regular grounds, roots under here. So let's see what happens. So from shoulder height, and we're gonna give it two drops, one on the side and one on the top. Ooh. All right, so you can see I did not fake that anything. There's dirt all in it. Um, I don't know how it's going to act. So let's just find out. See if they shift, see if the zero shifted on it. Doesn't look like the zero shifted on it. We're gonna load up some more ammo and we're gonna give it two more drops. There is a root here, so whatever happens, happens. So I'll be right back with that. Here it goes. All right, so that was five drops. So now let's load it back up five more rounds. See if the accuracy shifts on it. We're going to give it five more drops after that. <laughs> I hope she works. Seems like she's holding up. Looks like she's holding up. I do have a board right there. I think that may just be my trigger press, but it does look like it's dropping down some. We're empty. We have a board right here. Last five drops. You guys can see it. I'm not joking about this. 
Let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh, that was a good one. Last one on top of the off. Come on, baby, don't break. Oh, she has definitely, she has, the zero has definitely went crazy. I can see that now. It's, it is all over the place. So, oh man, I'm a little afraid to aim down there at my GoPro. That's, that's scooted on up because the shift and zero, it is very wild. I can literally see it through the red dot now. Yes, it is all the way pushed right. Uh, stay away from my GoPro because I do not want to clap that thing. All right. And we're going to aim at that bottom target down. Well, we're just going to aim at the top one again. I'm going to aim to the left side of the paper. Hopefully, we can get a strike because... Those couple of drops, those torts, they're toast. Yeah, I don't even know where it's aiming at now. I'm gonna aim at the bottom. Aim at the bottom because it looks like it's shifted up and to the right. Well, it shifted up and left. I was helping to aim. Yeah, that zero is toast. It's way up. Uh, hmm. So, do I think this ADE, do I think this ADE is worth the money? For 50 bucks, yes. I dropped it a considerable amount of times onto the optic, onto the side with the pistol. I did not drop it fully loaded, but I think I dropped it maybe, we'll, we'll look back and see, and I put the number here on the ground and on hard surfaces. The, the glass is not cracked. Glass looks very good. Glass look very good. The optic is still on, but it has shifted considerably. And now it looks like back. No, it's still off. But I was going to say it looked like back with the recoil, it was back on, but it's not. It has held up. It just, I figured with these tours being declicked, that was going to happen. And my suspicions was correct. It is still a good option. It did take a lot of abuse in the real world. Would somebody abuse this thing like this? No way. It is only nine millimeter. Uh, it is only nine millimeter capable. You cannot put it on anything stronger than that. I would suggest if you're going to use this, use it on a 22 or on a nine mil platform like this as a budget option. Let's be real. You're not going to take this into a duty situation. Another thing that comes to mind that I forgot to mention before is when I shot it before, almost two weeks ago, I noticed it kept shutting off. So I don't know if that's a feature or it's just something with this one, but it does shut off on you. So I would not carry this. If I had to, I don't think I would want to. I would just run the bare iron sights and that's it. With all that being said, it is a decent option to get you started into red dots to introduce someone into it to let them see how it is as far as pulling up your iron or well, pulling up your sights and acquiring your sights. It is a good training tool. Now on to the dagger. The dagger, I had some growing pains with it with the stock barrel. This is that I've had this going on almost a year now. 
with the stock barrel, I did have a few issues with it in the beginning. I want to say I had 10, 10, maybe 15 malfunctions throughout that first firing session. I lost a lot of footage with my hard drive being corrupted. It was a lot of footage of that on there. And once I put this gold 10 barrel in here, I did have a few issues as well too. Like every third round out of each magazine, it did not want to fire. It was light primer strikes. But after I ran a hundred rounds through it, she's running like a champ now. There was no hangups in the intro or doing this, even after all of the drops, all in dirt. This is a lot of dirty, this is a dirty area, leaves, black, loose dirt. So it did take some sort of a torture test. As you can see, she's pretty dirty in there. She is a little dirty. It has some very decent accuracy to it. I think I'm just gonna sight this red dot back in and take it off and just run the irons. I do have another red dot coming, but I do have another red dot that's going on here that will live on here full time until I decide to do something else with this. But as for now, the PSA dagger and the ADE red dot is a very good choice to get someone started. That's not to say that you can take this thing and run it full time because it does have a lot of failures, but it does do some things right because when this was dialed in, it was dialed in very good. But now after those 20 plus unrealistic drops, it's a no-go. The glass still looks good. Oh, wait a minute. The glass does not look good. The glass is busted. So, Let's empty this. I did not check this thing good. So the glass is busted on it. Look in the corner right here. <clears throat> the glass is cracked. Let's see if we can get some more light. So you should be able to see it now. Glass is cracked right there in the top right corner. So she is busted. Uh, uh, but like I said, is it still a good option? Yes, it is a good training tool. This is not something that you want to take out full time and use as a duty option. It is not nowhere near that, but it does function and it serves its purpose as a training tool. I will admit that was a lot of drops onto that, but it is still tight down. It seems like the fitment is good on it. It's just that crack in the top right that I would definitely not want to use this full time. And it looks like the glass is protruding back. Let's get one more mag and run it through here. We're going to run it fast and we're going to see if the glass pops out because at this point, I'm a little worried that the glass is going to pop out of it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and let this dagger rock out and eat. It's getting a little sluggish. All right. If the glass holds, I would be surprised. Definitely has some more cracking into it. I don't think it would last another hundred rounds. Now, that's not to say ADE did not make a decent product. They made a decent product for their price point. It did work well whenever I first put it on until this drop test. I knew something was going to happen. It was just a gamble. I dropped it a ton, a lot. I've seen other optics fail as well, too. It does have minimal crack. Well, not minimal. It does have some cracking at the top, 
which at some point it will have a catastrophic failure. But the red dot is still on. It looks like it's trying to work its way back into zero. Well, actually, it's shifting up and right now. So it's just going all over the place now. I, I couldn't recommend this on good terms on myself if somebody's gonna if someone's gonna bet their life to it i would recommend it on a standpoint of using as a training tool that's the only way i would recommend this but there is a link in the description if you want to get this and go that route to be able to train and show someone else how to acquire a red dot it is a very good tool for that an inexpensive tool 50 bucks you're not gonna go drop Holosun prices on it, ACOG or Trijicon prices on it and expect those kind of performances. It's just not gonna happen. It's not liable. It's not reliable enough for that. The Dagger is a very good platform to train on. It is reliable now. Just like a lot of guns, just like a lot of weapons, you do have to break these things in. You wanna vet them and make sure that they're gonna run. That's what you need to do. Go out and train with your platforms and make sure you're efficient with them, able to use them, clear it and be sufficiently accurate with it but with all that being said guys hit that like share subscribe ring that notification bell come back and enjoy some videos with me make sure if you want to put some input in onto the channel how i can implement it and make it a little bit better make sure you do that constructive criticism is always accepted on this channel see y'all in the next one